Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and I'm going to show you how to get started with TinyMCE's email starter config using the cloud. Apps like HubSpot, Marketo, B, Topple.io, and SendPulse all use TinyMCE in their email builders to make sure that their users can create clean, compliant, and good-looking emails. After seeing how these apps have used TinyMCE, we've come up with a starter config that anybody who's looking to build their own email builder or extend their own email builder with rich text editing capabilities can use to get started in their app. Now, before we get into it, there is one thing to remember. TinyMCE is not an email builder within itself. It's the rich text editor that you can use in your email builder. So if you are building a drag and drop email builder, you need to make sure that you can build that functionality out and plug TinyMCE in as the rich text editor for your rich text components. The startup config contains a fake email builder layout and three TinyMCE instances that you can take and build into your email builder. To get started with the starter config, head over to the link in the description and copy the starter config code into your app. I'm just going to paste it in right here. And you'll see a bunch of HTML, some instructions, and then the actual TinyMCE config script at the top here. So now that I've added in, I'm going to hit save and we'll see what happens. You'll see when I go to edit one of the components of the email, there's an error message that says that this domain is not registered with TinyCloud. That's because in order to use TinyMCE in the cloud, you need to register for an API key. You can head on over to tiny.cloud and click on our pricing page to see all the plans that we have available. With our free plan and any of our other plans, you can sign up and get a 14 day free trial of all of the premium features used in the starter config. Now, if you don't wanna pay for a plan, that's absolutely fine. You can always use TinyMCE's free version. You'll just have to remove the premium plugins from the starter config to make sure you don't get any errors. Once you've picked a plan and you've gone through the onboarding, you'll be able to find your API key in your account screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that API key and then head back over to the code. In this script tag where it says no API key, I'm gonna paste in my API key. Save the file, hit refresh, and I'm good to go with no errors. I have all the premium plugins like PowerPaste, Spellchecker Pro, advanced code formatting, all available within the starter config. Learn more about all the features included in the starter config in the product tour video, which I'll include in the description of this video. You can start playing around with the starter config in your app by adding and removing plugins, changing the toolbar, or modifying some of the options. The starter config comes with comments that explain what each line in the config is doing and links to the relevant help articles. Once you've got the starter config set up within your email app, you're gonna to wanna to set and get content from TinyMCE. We have a great blog article on this that shows you exactly how to do it. I'll include a link in the description as well. Now, if you get stuck with TinyMCE, you can always head on over to Stack Overflow where you can post your question to the community. If you're in your 14 day trial or you're subscribed to a premium plan, you have access to our enterprise grade professional support team, which you can file a ticket with as well. In coming videos, we'll show more tips on email rich text editing best practices. So stay tuned. Good luck.